So today we're at Jim's house where he's been looking for a soft privacy solution. Now he wanted enough coverage in his front yard so that his dogs weren't barking at every single car that went by, but at the same time he didn't want an antisocial wall that blocked out all his neighbors. So Jim, what did you come up with? A simple gated trellis. It's a standalone trellis, no fence on either side. We're going to do the rest of the yard in vegetation. It's just a standalone trellis. Nice. And of course we're using western red cedar for this project because nothing looks feels or smells quite like Western Red Cedar. That's for sure. So what's step one? Step one is to pick a foundation system. It's perfectly acceptable with cedar to just dig a hole, put, put the post in the ground and infill it with concrete, but um, as we would a fence. But in this case, because it's standalone and it doesn't involve fences, we're treating it more like a structure. So we're pouring a concrete foundation with an upstand. Nice, and that'll serve two purposes, because the wood will perform better if it's off the ground, plus it gives it a nice chunky look. It definitely grounds it. So once you've picked your foundation, what's the next step? Next step is to erect the posts. All right, let's get started. Well, it's looking great, Jim. What did we use here? We used a nice solid six by six. And a beautiful knotty grade of Western Red Cedar, which is really gonna add a lot of warmth and texture to the project. It sure Plus, is. it's a cost-effective choice. And for fastening? We used an invisible fastening system here, and we did that because we didn't want the uh, to mar the beauty of the uh, six by six. Beautiful, so what's next? Next, we'll get some two by sixes up that'll tie it together. Okay, I'll leave you to it. So the rafters are all installed. I see you've added purlings too, Jim. Yeah, we have. It's a good light way to add lateral support for your rafters. It also helps support the vegetation that we plan on growing over top of the unit. And what's next? We're gonna build side panels, kind of mm -hmm. screens. They're gonna visually lead you through to the gate. Right. We're actually building them somewhere else and we'll finish them up, bring them here, and just install them. It's usually a little bit easier. Good pro tip. And for more detailed instructions, you can go to realcedar.com for free downloadable building plans. So the sides are all in, and Jim, I gotta say, I love the tonal range of these beautiful Western Red Cedar slats. Yeah, well, not only is it beautiful, but it's extremely durable, and it's easily our most requested lumber when it comes to uh, decks, all outdoor structures in general. Right, and another great thing about Western Red Cedar is it's naturally resistant to raw decay and insects, which means this structure is gonna last you a long time, Jim. It sure is. <laughs> okay, let's get that gate in. Let's do it. Another great job, Jim. You're gonna be the envy of all your neighbors with this project. Well, thank you. And it was a pleasure to do because Western Red Cedar is easy to work with. It lies flat, it's true, and the tools love it. And for this project, we're just gonna let it weather naturally, eventually turning a beautiful silvery patina. But it's good to know that Western Red Cedar is pitch and resin-free, which means it accepts and holds a wide range of finishes beautifully. Mm -hmm. 